Hello, and welcome to this video from Publish Press. We make powerful publishing plugins for WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the editor role in WordPress. This is one of the five default user roles in WordPress, alongside subscriber, contributor, author, and administrator. Now, editor has more permissions than most of the other roles. And the name is somewhat descriptive. It allows you to edit just about any content on a WordPress site. The editor can log into the WordPress admin area. They can read posts. They can leave comments. They can edit and delete posts. They can publish posts. They can upload files to the media library. They can publish, edit, and delete any post or page. In fact, they can even edit and delete content from users higher than themselves, such as administrators. They can manage categories, and they can moderate comments. They really have a great deal of permissions. As you can see from this chart, they're only one level below the administrator who can do just about anything on a WordPress site. If an editor logs into a WordPress site, this is what they'll see. They'll have full access to everything on the post screen. They can delete and edit anyone's posts. They can add categories. They can add tags. They can upload media. They can go to pages, and they can edit and delete anything in the pages area. When it comes to comments, they can approve or spam or trash any comment. So if you give anyone the editor role, you really need to trust them. If you decide that you want to slightly tweak the permissions available to an editor, that is possible with the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin. It's trusted by over 70,000 users. And I've installed it on this test site that we see in front of us. I've gone to Users and Capabilities. And in the top right corner, you can choose which user role you want to edit, which in this case is going to be editor. If I click on load, I'll see all of the permissions that people in the editor role will have. Almost all of these boxes are checked when it comes to content. Really, the main thing that's missing is the ability to manage the site. Down here, you can see permissions such as activate plugins or delete users or update plugins or edit the theme options. That's really the difference between the editor role and the administrator role. But if you did want to give the editor extra permissions on your site, you could check some of these boxes here. In fact, if you wanted to, you could check all of the boxes and you could make the editor nearly as powerful as the administrator themselves. So the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin allows you to start with the basic editor role and customize it to your wishes and to the needs of your site. Stay tuned on this channel for more great videos about WordPress permissions, and you'll find more useful tools and resources at publishpress.com.